This is a video demonstration of the instructions for use for the Hercules 100 transnasal esophageal balloon. Review key nomenclature. Eye protector. Wire guide. Wire guide lock. Inflation port. Inflation reference tag. Balloon catheter. Positioning indicator. Balloon protector. This is the Cook Sphere inflation device our high-pressure inflation device that is used with the Hercules 100 transnasal esophageal balloon. Move the wire lock in the on position. Remove the wire guide. Remove the eye protector from the proximal end of the wire guide. Pass the floppy end of the wire guide through the scope. Advance the wire guide through the accessory channel and through the stricture. While maintaining the position of the wire guide, remove the scope. Reposition the endoscope in the esophagus so that it is adjacent to the wire. Fill the Cook Sphere inflation device with the attached pressure gauge with 40 to 50 milliliters. Attach the Cook Sphere inflation device to the balloon port on the Hercules 100. Apply negative pressure to the Hercules 100 to facilitate the removal of the protective sleeve. Apply a water-soluble lubricant to the balloon to facilitate passage through the oral or nasal cavity, whichever is deemed appropriate. Prior to advancing the Hercules 100 over the wire guide, flush the wire guide lumen. Maintain negative pressure and introduce the Hercules 100 over the wire guide, advancing the balloon in short increments until it is completely visualized endoscopically. Advance the Hercules 100 until the balloon is in the desired position within the stricture. Inflate the balloon to the pressure corresponding to the smallest balloon diameter. Maintain this pressure until the first stage of dilation is achieved. Increase the pressure as indicated on the catheter tag to achieve the second and third stages of dilation as necessary. To deflate the Hercules 100, apply negative pressure and remove all fluid from the balloon while observing the device endoscopically. Remove the deflated balloon, the wire, and the endoscope from the esophagus. To ease the withdrawal, Keep the catheter as straight as possible during removal. This concludes the instructions for use for the Hercules 100 transnasal esophageal balloon. For complete instructions, contraindications, warnings, precautions, and adverse events, please see the instructions for use that are included with each Hercules 100 transnasal esophageal balloon.